everyone. I am so excited that you're here today with me. I have with me Seidel Schultz and she is, get this, a music intuitive among other many other cool things. But the reason I wanted to bring her onto my platform to talk to my clients and my followers is for this reason. If you've, if you've done a course with me or if you've worked one-on-one, -on -one, you know that a lot of times I, I we need to get in touch and listen, learn how to listen to our subconscious, listen to our own soul, listen to the spirit, whatever you want to call it. And one of the ways our subconscious mind will speak to us is through music. You ever wake up in the morning, you've got that song looping in your head and you don't like, ah, I can't get it out of my head or whatever. There, there's a reason it's there. And so if you take a moment to stop and look at the lyrics and listen to it and just ask your subconscious mind, what is this telling me? Then you can get some really cool answers. So um, before we dive into the song that was moving in my head, Seidel, <laughs> tell me what, because I know you do a bunch of fun things. What, what is a music intuitive and, and what else do you do with your life? So what is that? is so fun and so cool and definitely outside the box so what happens um well let me let me share with you how this all got started because it's kind of crazy um i sing i'm a singer and i had a lady in my neighborhood who asked me nine years ago if i would teach her daughter voice lessons and i was like absolutely not i know no thanks i appreciate you asking and she's like I don't remember if I said that part out loud, if I was <laughs> thinking it in my head, but she said, I'll watch your daughter who was three at the time. She's like, I'll watch her. I have an in-home daycare. I'll watch her twice a week for two hours at a time in trade for 30 minute voice lessons. And I was like, sold, yes. Yes. done, done. I'm so in. So she, she started coming over and I started teaching her voice. I realized how much I just absolutely loved it. She recommended me to some of her friends her friends started coming and i was just like i love this so much and then god said i need you to tell people that you can hear things when they sing and i was like so basically you're asking me to lie to people <laughs> i was like this does not sound like the god i know um <laughs> and he was like i need you just to trust me and and share this and so i was like okay i'll start sharing that so i would i would talk to people and i would say i can I can hear things when when people sing for me and they were like that is so cool that you can do that and i was thinking that would be so cool if i could do that <laughs> and then i had a lady who was like hey i'd like you to i'd like to do some voice lessons with you and i said all right come on over so she came over to my house and she sang for me and i was like oh, i can hear things when she sings <laughs> and wow. it was really such an incredible experience and she was struggling with her breathing and when she sang i heard exactly why she was struggling with like emotionally why she was struggling with her breathing what we needed to do to address that we addressed it and it changed the way she breathes she was able to take the deep breath that she needed to take wow. um and so so that's kind of like how i got started in all of this so when people sing for me i hear the beliefs i hear emotions that their voice is holding and then we work through it and it either changes the way they sing um well so we can focus just on singing but um the way we talk also is melodic right yeah. so everybody has their own cadence they have their own melody mm -hmm. that they speak to um and they have their own rhythm. We we all speak in our own rhythm, right? Some people are like really fast talkers and some people are really slow talkers. Yeah. Um, some people are kind of like middle of the road. And so I'll, I'll listen to people speak and I can even hear things in in how they're speaking. And and I pick up on those like those tunes, right? Those messages. And we address that. And then it changes the way people sing and the way they speak and the way they're able to communicate with other people in their lives. So that's like, so, so it's like body language, but with the voice. 
straight. That's pretty yes. cool. I never, I never even tried to tap into that. I, I, I love seeing my clients. Um, and I have found listening, even on the phone, you can hear things in the voice. Oh yeah. You can hear a catch and you, you know, you pick up on little things, but I'm sure, I'm sure practicing and, and listening just takes that exponentially higher. Whoa. Okay. So when you work with somebody um, that wants to uncover a glitch or a, you know, I'm having this, this, whatever, do you have them just sing a song that's looping in their head or do you have them share a song that they're hearing? You don't need to hear their voice or how's that work? Okay. So there's a couple of different ways that I can go about it. One is we, they, they could pick a song and we could work on the song. So then that would be like a series of sessions, right? Uh -huh. um, we, I could also just have them sing improv <laughs> so, or intuitively sing. So I'll have them sing their name and just have it say, sing their name on whatever sound. So like take a deep breath, they close their eyes and then they sing their name on just whatever comes out. So like they don't plan the notes, they don't plan the melody, they just let the sound come out. Uh, that's, prob that's probably my favorite way to do it, just to have the intuitive um, singing because it really just like opens those doors so yeah. fast. Yeah, and there's so many, that's the endless possibilities. I'm thinking right now, I'm just thinking about my name. What would I do? And it's like, would it be dramatic? Or I mean, the mood that I'm in right now, I'm just like, my name is Ruthie Renee and it kind of a, a jazzy, whatever kind of mood I'm in. But um, I guess that would probably change with whatever's going on in your life. And you yes. know that immediately. That's right. Or, so it's yes. like, I, there are a number of things that I do with my clients that are like ninja style, uncovering <laughs> the subconscious mind without the subconscious mind, knowing that you're looking at it. It's so, that's, so fascinating. I love it. So um, I had a song um, because I knew we were talking today. I paid attention when I woke up and what songs were running through my mind. And I had a couple that I shared with you. What do you want to go into one of those? Or do you want to just tell me more about, uh, or do you have a favorite client that you experience that you want to share? What do you want to do? I would love to do your, I would love to talk about your song. So that's one of the other things. <laughs> so that's one of the <laughs> other. <laughs> that's not, you know, it's not private at all. I'll share my thoughts with the world. <laughs> oh, so that's one of the other really fun things that I get to do. Um, I get to hear very clear and direct messages through music. So when you have a song that's looping continuously, it's because that, that song, like you were said earlier, it has a message for you. Um, sometimes, actually a lot of times, what I found um, when I sit down with music. So I do a lot of, I have translation Tuesdays. Um, and so I translate a song every Tuesday and I post it on my YouTube channel. Um, and there, so we have a group message, right? And so I just take like 20 minutes with the song. I sit down and I listen to it and I listen for the message that it has for the group of people, right? And, and but then I have um, personal song translations that I do. And that's where I sit down, me and the song sit down together and I listen to it on repeat for an hour. <laughs> wow. Can you imagine listening to the same song for an hour? I can. I can actually. <laughs> it's so fabulous. But I listen to it and and then I type and I type as fast as I can because that's how fast the message pours out from the song. And a lot of times it's not exactly what we think it's going to be. Um, like the song might say one thing, but the message that I'm getting is completely opposite. Does that make sense? Absolutely, because that's exactly how hypnosis works. When I work with a client, they might say, oh, I this X it thing is going wrong and I don't like it and I want to change it. But then when we get under hypnosis, the story that comes up seems like not related at all. And when I tell my clients, it's always just trust. 
trust yep. whatever comes out is the right thing because as we unravel it and then it's like ah, it all makes sense so i'm with you girl yes <laughs> and i have looked on your youtube channel you guys go check out her youtube channel a lot of fun content um what is your youtube channel again go sing your soul and go and sing your soul and see what Seidel has uncovered and then reach out to her and see what, cause I know you guys, I know everybody has had a song that's moved in their head. Sometimes for months, we'll have a song connected to us because we're not listening. So um, I woke up, no surprise. I'm here in Panama city beach on my honeymoon <laughs> and with the love of my life, from 31 years ago. We dated in high school and then, you know, we we were kids. We didn't know how to handle this huge love and emotion and all of the baggage that we had in our families and friends and religions clashing and telling us that we can't be together. And we were too little to believe otherwise. And so we allowed goodness sorry we allowed the world to pull us apart and it took we went to school of life for 27 years before we learned the lessons that we needed to learn to reunite together and so here we are and so surprise the song that was in my head this morning over and over again was i'm never gonna let you go <laughs> okay got that out tell me what it's all about Oh my gosh. I love that so much. I'm crying too. I love that so much. It's so incredible. Um, so <laughs> yes, dreams come true. So I was looking, I was listening to this song and I had, so I did not know that. I did not know that. <laughs> I know, when, but for everybody else, um, Seidel and I connected through overlap of social media. We have <laughs> Um, similar friends is that how you say it yeah <laughs> and so I started watching her um in whatever stories and and we connected on another post that you did and then here we are so okay so I've never shared anything private with Seidel until this <laughs> very moment <laughs> yeah I had no idea so you you shared the song with me just before um we started recording this and I had some really interesting thoughts come up, like the messages come up and I was like, hmm, I don't know anything. Um, <clears throat> I don't know anything about you and about your story, but it was so, it's so incredible. Oh, this is so beautiful. It's so, so beautiful. Okay, let's start at the beginning. I was as wrong as I could be to let you get away from me. I'll regret that move for as long as I'm living. Right. So that like, I can just, you started sharing your story about how you met so long ago and then you couldn't be together. Right. And I feel that, like, I feel just this, um, and, and it's funny cause it's, it's a, it almost feels like a morning, you know, mm -hmm. like mourning the loss of the time that you guys could have had together oh. and We've definitely had that because our kids are grown. So we didn't get that together. Yeah. And I, I can see, like, I just see uh, flashes of images in my mind come before me and like the thoughts of what would it have been like to raise our kids together? What would it have been like to experience all the things that we, that you each experienced separately and in another marriage? what would it have been like to experience them together? Um, because you guys weren't together, right? Absolutely. Does that yeah. feel right to you? Yeah. Um, and, and I want to say, I want to say this too, because this is an old song. Uh -huh. It's not, it's not a new song. I'm a little and, old. <laughs> <laughs> no, because that would make me a little bit old and I refuse. <laughs> Okay, so, but one of the things that I, I heard when I realized that this is a, an old song is it felt like an old love. 
Um, and I love that because you really are like, you guys are an old love. You've, you've loved each other for a really long time. And now you're coming back around to it. You know what I mean? And it's so, so beautiful. Okay. So then the next part talks about, but now that I've come to see the light, all I want to do is make things right. So just say the word and tell me that I'm forgiven. Okay. So I, I want, I don't know if you guys um, have done this or not, but um, I would say that there, it sounds to me like in all of this, that you guys get to do some forgiveness of like maybe Ho'oponono or something like that, just to release the mourning. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. To release the mourning of what you lost and um, what you didn't have and to celebrate what you did have and, and what you have now. Um, and that's, that's where I see at the very beginning, now that I've come to see the light, all I want to do is make things right, like celebrate the rightness of the place that you're at. Yeah. Golly. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I didn't warn you. Um, tears come with me. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm a tear kind of girl. Let it flow. Let it flow. I can feel my lo jaw locking and because this is very private and I'm just like sharing this with everybody. And of course I'm going to have to run this through and make sure it's okay with John, but I, you're, you're right on because they're that, that one piece we both have felt pain over. And at the same time, we love our children and we yeah. love that our children love their other parents. Yep. And so you want to be delicate and you, you see these babies that I've grown to love his children and he just met mine and he already loves them. And he, you don't want to be envious. These, I wish these were my children. I wish yep. these were our children yep. and accepting and being at peace with the way mm -hmm. things are, the way we chose to live our life and, and gratitude for the lessons, the hope of oh, 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 no. Well, however you said that, I, I know what it is. <laughs> it's the forgiveness and the mm -hmm. thank you. I love you. What is it? It's a please whole forgive me. I'm sorry. Forgive me. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. And I love you mm -hmm. for all of the things. And I, I believe that's one piece that we haven't actually addressed is complete forgiveness and love and peace for the way our lives have gone, even though we don't have those babies together. So that's, I will I will do that. I'll do that. We'll do that together to get that piece that is Yay. obviously necessary. <laughs> Yay. My um, thing is when, when you are able to do that and then like really move through that, I love, I love that you shared that because really there are so many emotions mixed in with this. Of course, you would never take the other parent away from your children or his children. And so, so there's that, but then there's the feelings that you have from not having been with him. So there's just like so much mixed in there. And when you get to do this whole of you get to like really um, align those feelings and heal. create some order for them. Yes, heal for them. Yes, exactly. All right. Then the next part says you and me, we're going to be better than we were before, <laughs> which is true, right? Yeah. <laughs> I loved you then, but now I intend to open up and love you even more. This time you can be sure. Okay. So this, I just have to say that, that when I, when I hear this part and when I, when I share the lyrics with you, I see this, <laughs> your arms are both open wide and experiencing things like that you didn't realize that you could experience and feelings that you didn't realize you could experience. Is that true? Yes. Life, just life in general has taken on such a huge shift and meaning. It's that I, yep. what I keep having in my head from this conversation so far is my 
forgiveness piece that I teach is, is, you know, when we have our hands clenched onto something that we just refuse to let go of, well, guess what? We can't hold on to yeah. new things. We can't receive. Yeah. When we open up and let go, and I'm, and I believe that the pieces that, that piece, the things we missed out on for 27 years of not being together, we have to open up and let that go so that we yeah. can see the amazing life that we have together and the opportunity, mm -hmm. experiences, grandbabies, animals, life, the our business that we're doing together it's just it's so fun and just the reality of I had no idea that life could feel so good yeah. and I was pretty happy before <laughs> logically and cognitively and my marriage was really pretty good but he's a great guy um mm -hmm. and I actually was friends with his ex they she's she's a, an amazing woman it's, there's nothing it's just like you know when it's just when things are right yes that's exactly what it felt like to me it was just like it, it, it wasn't that it was bad before it's just that now it's even better and it will keep getting even better and and i just like that's what i see is is you you had what you thought was good before and it was good and then you have something better and it's just going to keep growing and uh flourishing into like the into the beautiful things incredible yeah. things yeah like you had a seedling and that's cute and it even it gets the flower and it's so amazing but when you grow into a tree and then yeah. you produce shade for other people food mm -hmm. for other and it's just endless all the good stuff Thanks. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Okay. So the next part says, I love it. I love it so much. I'm never going to let you go. I'm going to hold you in my arms forever. Going to try and make up for all the times I hurt you. So, so going to hold your body close to mine from this day on, we're going to be together. Oh, I swear this time I'm never going to let you go. So I just love your crying already. I, I haven't even said anything yet. <laughs> it's so it's so so beautiful um i it, it's like i know you you got married right you've already said your vows but this is like your vow mm -hmm. like you're vowing again and you're you're saying so every time you listen to this song every time you hear this song it's it's a remembrance that you committed but then it's a recommitment again yeah and and I really love that we have the opportunity to recommit, regardless of how good it is. Every time, um, every time I realize how incredible my husband is, and I step more into that love, it's me recommitting to my marriage, and it's me using more of my my soul to commit. Does that make sense? Yes, because there is there is no ceiling to love. Right exactly you keep growing and expanding and exactly days like how could i possibly love you more exactly exactly and so that recommitting so I, i'm never gonna let you go i'm gonna hold you in my arms forever and i have to tell you that when i first listened to this song i could feel a body next to me like i could feel the snuggles and i don't know if either one of you are um um body you know the five love languages like uh -huh. touch i don't know if either one of you are touch but there was something really important about the feeling like the physical feeling of the other person with you does that make sense to you big time cuddlers and like i don't know how many times we were just like thank you so much but i'm i'm naturally a cold person and he likes it cold but he's <laughs> so hot i mean Besides the fact that he's sexy, <laughs> <laughs> his his body emanates so much heat, and so I'll just like like he's my blanket, and yeah, and just anywhere on the couch, people get annoyed because you know where there's always a hand on a shoulder, hand on a thigh, or something. We're yes. all connected. Yeah, yeah. There's that touching, and it's like it is so important for 
for you. It's important for him. It's important for your marriage. It's important for your connection. It's important for other people to see that um, and experience that of what it looks like to to have something and the possibility to have something at this. Do you know what I'm saying? Like at that level. Because that then gives them permission to have something so great. Yes. And to be in that space where they're always touching and they're always cuddling. Like it gives it gives them permission to show the affection that they need to experience, like to ask for the affection that they need to show the affection that they want to give um, regardless of, of who is around them. Right. Because why? It's like, it's not like we're being crazy weird in front of people, but <laughs> who says who says it's improper to hold one another at the restaurant or in line or, or anywhere? Yep. Yep. Exactly. Exactly. It creates, I, I'm just seeing like this image of when you do that, it creates this bubble around the two of you. And then the love emanates out into the rest of the oh, restaurant. Yes, activate. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> yes. The, yeah. The power is greater when we're connected. Yes. To share. Yes. Oh, I like that. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. Okay. All right. So then this next part, I'm going to try to make up for all the times I hurt you so. Okay. So there's a, like a little bit more of the forgiveness in there. Just a reminder that it's important to do. Um, and to focus on, and I, I hear so much um, in this too. I mean, I know it says, okay, so, so I'm going to say this because a lot of some, there are times where the music says one thing, the lyrics say one thing, and I hear something different. Mm -hmm. um, so you, it can be a reminder for forgiveness because guess what? You married and you're both imperfect people. So right. most likely sometime in the next 45 years, you'll need to forgive each other. Um, <laughs> so to go remember to go to that, that space of forgiveness. Um, but also I just hear so much in that part of the lyrics. Um, I hear like how much fun you're going to have because you understand more clearly now how precious your time is together. Mm -hmm. That's what I hear when I, when I read those lyrics is we, the time we have together is precious because we haven't always had each other. And so we are going to make the most of it. Yeah. I love you. That actually goes so much deeper than you know. I won't get into it but yeah okay you guys this girl's she's she's intuitive for sure <laughs> uh, yeah there have been conversations around that specifically wow that's so incredible I love it so much this is why the song came to you I I, I, you know, I, I heard it. I was like, this isn't just a song. This is like your marriage theme song. Yeah. I'm going to add it to, we have a couple songs that are really important to us. And this is going to definitely be in the grouping now. And it's funny because <laughs> you think I would know this is what I do. And this is what I tell my clients. Just trust whatever comes up, just trust. it. <laughs> and even though this was looping all morning, I was like, okay, well, that's, that's an easy one. Obviously, I just got married. This is going to come to mind. But there's, you found so many key pieces that I would not have, I wouldn't have looked at it that way. Well, maybe if I sat and meditated on, on it, um, eventually it would come, but, but thank you. Um, yeah. I know that we're encroaching on more of your time. Is there any, anything else that you found that you want to throw out? Let me just uh, read through the lyrics really fast. Okay, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna just breathe. <laughs> I'm gonna just tell everybody that uh, this. You, sometimes it's nice to have a teacher. Of course, we can all use our own intuition, and that's where we want to get to. That's why I teach the self hypnosis courses. You can come to me, and we can do a one-on-one -on -one hypnotherapy session. 
but learning how to do it yourself is takes it to a whole different level because guess what? We have problems at one o'clock in the morning on the weekend when I'm not going to work with you. Sorry. So <laughs> taking, taking things in that power into your own hands is perfect. So working with somebody like Seidel can teach you how to trust your intuition, see how it's done, and then go test it out yourself. Sit in meditation with the song that's coming to mind and talk to your mind. What are you trying to tell me? Either, you know, some people like to talk to God. It's like, what are you trying to tell me? Some people mm -hmm. are more sciencey and they want to talk to their, okay, what is my subconscious mind bringing up for me? Either way, you're going to get answers mm -hmm. when you know how to do it. And if you're scared, then you reach out to Seidel and say, girl, work with me. I know something's here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I really love that you said that. I, I think um, as, as I've seen when I've hired mentors and and worked with people, um, that's exactly what I've found too, is that I know when I need to reach out, I know when I need help um, because I can't, I don't have a big enough perspective or I don't have the right lenses to look at. But once, once they show me a different perspective, then it opens things up and then I'm able to, to continue on in that same fashion, like using that thing with, with my new glasses. Because it's yeah. one of the reasons why I love working with mentors. I love being a mentor and helping people. We're just helping each other progress. And it doesn't mean we have to be together forever. It doesn't mean that you have to call me every time you get a song stuck in your head. <laughs> but but we can see a, like a, a whole, a bigger perspective of, of what's going on, then it will make a really big difference. So um, I will mentor people based on the songs that they, they have in their, they have stuck. So um, I've worked with couples that have their marriage theme song, but they are struggling and their marriage theme song will give us the layout for what we need to do to work together as we're working together yes and then there's business theme songs so the business theme song and it will give like how what they need to do to market how they can grow their business the why behind their business so it, it, it i know from a song right that is so interesting now this just is so many more levels and angles when you're working with a client how do you prep your clients yeah, that's a really great question. So um, I will ask them questions, um, mostly based on how they feel about their business. And we really just set the intention. Setting intentions is so incredibly powerful, which I know you know. And so if, if you're looking for your marriage theme song because you need um, strength, because that's, that's a thing, is that when you have a theme song for something, um, songs are incredible. So words um, help us connect to our mind. Music helps us connect to our feelings. And then when we have a song, it's, it's giving the feeling, like taking a thought and feeling and putting them together. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, I forget the quote. It's like a yeah. song makes you feel a thought. Yeah. Uh, and so this what happens when you have a theme song for your marriage or for your business or for motherhood. Like if people are struggling with motherhood, you um, right. Um, you can have these theme songs and they help you remember and like they help you think the thoughts that you need to think to be in the place mentally that you need to be. And then they, and they help you feel the feelings that you want to experience when you're in that place. Like when you're in a good place of connection with your marriage and with your business or with motherhood, and then you feel it in your body, which creates movement. So all of these things together create that. So a lot of times I will just have them set the intention that they will receive their theme song. I will ask them a few questions and then, then they just sit until they receive the song. Okay. So I don't know how much you know about hypnotherapy, but girl, you just place an anchor for your mm -hmm. client to be able to redirect and come back to the program that they chose. So often right. we live our lives with these programs that other people developed for us. And we're just running on autopilot of things we let in when we were too young to have that filter clear yep. to make our own conscious decision. So now you're like consciously 
I'm going to take this choice and I'm going to anchor it in my subconscious mind. Now, every time I hear that song, bam, I'm there. Fun. Yep, exactly. It's so Super fun. Cool. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, like, anytime you get up. Well, well, I mean, I guess going through it, like there, you know, the stuff comes up, it has to come up and then you open up to the, but um, probably less painful than, than other ways around it. I love it. That's my, that's my goal is to be less painful. And, and when you have the paper, cause I do the song translation I, and I email it out when you have a paper and you can go back and you can read through it and you have notes from it and, and you listen to the song and you, you're not just hearing the song, you're getting the message too. And you're remembering all of these things. And, and it's so, so incredible. So I wanted to share this, this last little part for you. Okay. Um, for your song, it says, it's going to be sweeter than it was before. I gave some then, but now I intend to dedicate myself to giving more. And uh, yes, I just love it. I can see the tears shining in your eyes and it is so incredible. And, and this is, this was the part that I was like, I can really feel that life wasn't bad before, but now it's everything that you dreamed it would be. Yeah. And more, like more than what you dreamed that it could be. Yeah. Um, and I, I love that you get to experience that with, with, within yourself and within your marriage and, and within your life. Like, because you guys spent the 27 years apart, now your family is even bigger than it would have been. And you have That's true. more I kids. I would not have had seven children. <laughs> right. you're my body and how hard pregnancy is on it <laughs> exactly like you it's just it was sweet but now it's even sweeter you have seven kids you will eventually have seven in-law children <laughs> and all those grandchildren and and you have this sweet friend you know and you have your ex-husband who is also a friend like there's just so many so many more people to love and yeah, so yeah. much more love inside of you and and with your like just love everywhere I just see love everywhere yeah absolutely so that's in a nutshell (laughs) (laughs) well thank you so much for taking the time to meet with me I just love and adore you already um I want to wrap up with letting I because I'm sure that everybody that's watching this is like well I got to have me some of that. I, I, I need that experience. So how do they find you? And um, what, what suggestions would you have for somebody who's trying to figure out the song that's looping in their head? Yes. Okay. So singyoursoul.net okay. is my website. Um, you can also find me on Facebook. I have a Facebook group called Sing Your Soul with Seidel Schultz. Just put in Sing Your Soul with and, and I'm sure it'll pop up. Okay. Um, because spelling my name, I know is a super big trick. Um, I'll put so, it in the notes. Okay. I'll make it easy for everyone. <laughs> um, so those are a couple of ways that you can get a hold of me. Um, and I say, if you have a song that's looping through your head um, and you want to figure out what it means, um, sit down with a song and a piece of paper and a pen and take three deep breaths and relax your body so you're in a relaxed state. I know that you totally understand what I'm saying and why that is so important. Immediately, um, my belly breathing starts. Okay, right, <laughs> calm down now. <laughs> yes, exactly. It gets us in this relaxed space so that we can receive the message from the song. And and so you take those deep breaths. Um, put I, I like to have um, it in my ears just so that I'm not distracted by anything else. Mm-hmm. Um, around me, any no- other noises around me, um, and and I can hear more clearly. And then I just start writing. And the and the one of the keys to this is to not um, over to think it, to just um, be in that space where you are allowing whatever comes to your mind, and don't judge whatever it is that's there. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Anybody that's and just right. Well, that will just, that goes right in line with whatever silly story comes up. You just trust it. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, Well, thank you so much. I hope that everybody 
connect with you and and gets to glean some more of what you have to offer and thank you for putting this into the world i love it thank you so much it's been so fun thanks for letting me translate that song for you oh thank you for sure i'm gonna i can't wait to share it with john <laughs>